Hey everyone, before we start today's video, we just wanted to say that when we started ASAP Science, we had the goal of making science as fun and interesting as possible to a lot of different people. And now we're just thinking about how we can do that in new and creative ways. We'll always be continuing with the whiteboard series, but today we wanted to try a science sketch. We did this before we actually went to school about how to write sketch comedy, <laughs> so the structure's a bit off, but there's still a lot of good science information in there, so hope you enjoy it. Why are we doing this again? People act like it speeds up your metabolism, but an Indian study of 88 healthy volunteers, it decreased all of their metabolisms. India, my people, is where it originated, so I think they would know. Okay, Mitchell, that decreased metabolism was because of the yoga. You see, today is about getting you more centered. In a controlled study, it was found that women who do yoga all the time, like me, had decreased state and trait anxiety. But you're not a woman. Okay, trust me, I do this often enough. I think it's gonna also help with your tenseness. But have you heard the yoga injury study? Let's open ourselves up, people. Here we go. Greg. Yeah? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, what? Yeah. But you, you are okay. Thank you for your energy today. You're welcome. <laughs> This is the hardest part of any lesson. Let's turn off the negativity of the day and turn on the positivity. You can do this. Turn off the negativity. You know the practice of yoga posture leads to increased thalamic levels of the neurotransmitter links to better mood. Yo gabba gabba. And you know that yoga can decrease anxiety more when compared to other forms of physical activity. This is great. You are great. Positivity, positive, smiling children, oh God. What did Mitch mean by the injury study? Like, that freaks me out. Oh wait, stop being anxious. Why are you even bothering with yoga breathing? Studies continue to show that no matter how fast or slow you breathe, you generally get the same amount of oxygen into your body. Slow breathing will only increase CO2 in your blood. Doi! Oh god, snap out of it. Greg, please close your eyes, thank you. What was that injury study you were talking about? Physicians have done studies that show that yoga can cause injury if done improperly, but historically some yoga gurus have tried to remove the word injury because it's so healing. But science just shows that that's not true. Surely injuries can't be that big of an issue. I mean, it's so easy. Oh, Mitch, wonderful. Yoga shoulders, bring it back a little bit. Good form. Greg, Greg, <laughs> away from the wrist. Put a little more oh. weight back in your legs. You're risking injury. Your pelvis up, up. Uh. You know what? <laughs> it's okay. We're almost done. <laughs> For the puddle. <laughs> Mitch! You're in full Salambus Rasana! Maybe it's genetic. Well, data does suggest that yoga results in rapid gene expression alteration, which can explain the benefits. I've also read about how there's actually more gray matter in the people who practice yoga! <gasps> Greg! Ow. Ow. <laughs> X-ray scans have shown significant increase in bone density in those who do yoga. You do a lot of yoga, Greg. I'm sure you'll be fine. But how many people were in that study? 227 participants. I'll take it. Okay, thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know if you have any other sketch ideas that you'd want us to tackle. Huge thank you to Yoga Yoga Studio for letting us use their space and to Sandy, her acting debut. I think she did a pretty good job. So subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. See ya.